So, um, a good day to everyone. So, for this video lecture, I'm going to talk about the feeds and feeding or the animal nutrition or goat nutrition. So, last meeting, I've talked about the um, different kinds, uh, different breeds of goat. So, particularly, I've focused on the breeds of goat that are somewhat or popular here in uh, the Philippines. So I've I have not tackled the uh, dairy breeds of goat because uh, na discuss ko na yon don sa ansay one six one ninyo yung sa dairy goats. So yung mga popular breeds of dairy goats you have yung mga um, Togenberg yung mga um, Anglo Nubian. So I've also discussed about the mating system of the or breeding system of goats. So now I'm going to discuss the feeds and feeding. So uh, you would say that this is this will be the first part on the feeds and feeding for goat. So um, goats have distinct uh, differences in terms of nutrition and feeding from other ruminants such as sheep, cattle, and buffalo. Uh, yung mga goats kasi, um, they can satisfy their nutrient requirement for production uh, provided na may good quality pasture and fodder, trees and shrubs are available. So, meaning, um, in terms of uh, providing the, um, the nutrient requirement of the goat or the animal, um, mas madali for goat kasi um, basta bigyan mo sila ng good quality pasture at saka meron silang access sa mga father trees na tinatawag um, okay na sila doon namimit na yung nutrient requirement nila most of the time hindi tulad ng mga cattle mga buffalo um, na kailangan talaga mag supplement ka pa ng mga concentrate Although yung sa goat kasi, you could supplement it ng concentrate provided na yung mga mga binibigay mong feeds, uh, alam mong hindi ganun kataas yung quality. At saka yung binibigay mo, alam mong hindi sapat, then you could um, supplement concentrate. Pero pag alam mo naman na sapat yung binibigay mo na, feed, uh, na grasses, mga forages, and then may access rin sila sa mga trees and shrubs para kumain then tapos uh, maganda yung quality nung binibigay mong um, forage and grasses then wag ka nang pwede pwede nang wag ka nang mag-supplement doon sa mga goats then relative to body size goats can consume more feeds up to 6% of their live weight compared to 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 3% in cattle. So, sinasabi daw na relative to its body size. So, when we say relative to its body size, yung goat, uh, for example, large or medium yung body size ng goat which, with around 15 kilogram. Sabihin na lang natin 15 kilogram. So, um, they can consume uh, an additional of about 6% more compared to sa mga cattle na yung um, inaano lang nila is 2.2 to 3% uh, of their body size. So, mas, uh, in summary, mas marami yung um, kinakain nung kambing compared doon sa mga cattle natin. So, the unique mechanism for food selection, prehension, and utilization gives goat high survival rate under different conditions. So, as you can see on the picture, yung mga uh, goats kasi, they are considered as browsers. Yun yung tawag sa mga yun. Compared mo doon sa mga sheep that are called grazers. So, pansin nyo, yung mga goat, uh, hindi nila masyadong, pag kumakain sila, hindi handa ipupuon. J, J grass na kanenda. Compared mo doon sa mga sheep na talaga ipuunda. J, J kan kanenda nga, nga grass. 
for the um, goats, they are browsers. So, ganito yung pwede nilang kainin rin. Ang mga father trees na compared dun sa mga ships, kumbaga, na hindi naman talaga behavior nila yung uh, ganito, yung kumain ng mga trees at saka mga shrubs. So, uh, in a way, mas marami, mas diverse yung kinakain ng goat compared to the sheep. And then, due to the fact na uh, itong prehension mechanism nila, yun rin yung rason kung bakit mas madami silang kinakain, mas namimit nila yung nutrient requirement nila. So, because of, of that, mas mataas yung survival rate ng kambing in different condition kasi nakaka-adapt sila mas marami yung selection nila ng food, ng feed ng mga grasses compared dun sa uh, sheep so the prehension of feeds by goats with their mobile upper lip and bipedal stance ensure the consumption of the more nutritious and succulent parts of the plants so yun, yung lip nila kasi uh, it can move independently so, it's, it is a mobile upper lip. So, they could browse anything. They could, uh, yung mga shrubs, they could uh, eat yung mga leaves ng shrubs because of their prehension mechanism. Di, dahil dito sa mobile upper lip, ni, uh, upper lip nila. And at the same time, itong bipedal stance na tinatawag ito. Ito. Yung parang tumatayo yung kambing para abutin yung mga gra yung mga leaves, yun yung bipedal stance. So, itong characteristic ng goats na ito, it ensures that the it it can consume, it can eat yung mga gra yung mga grasses, yung mga shrubs, yung mga leaves that are otherwise uh, unavailable for the other um for the other ruminants, especially yung sheep. So, by nature, goats are browsers with inquisitive feeding behavior and tend to select a variety of feeds. Uh, furthermore, goats can tolerate bitter taste better than cattle and then adjust feeding behavior based on the accessibility and availability of feeds and can efficiently digest fibrous feed. So, yun yung other characteristic ng um, goats natin. So, um, Meaning they are more active in, um, they are more active in searching for mga grasses, mga sh shrubs, mga uh, father, uh, father trees. And at the same time, uh, they could select or they have a wider range of um, grasses, um, leaves selection because they can tolerate bitter taste. Meaning they can. Uh, utilize or they can consume uh, yung mga feeds na ayaw ng mga um, ships natin at saka yung mga cattle natin so yun in particular yung mga goats natin they refuse to eat yung mga feeds that have been soiled by other animals so yun rin yung isang feeding behavior ng goat so uh, medyo maarte sila so most of the time, yung ginagawa ng mga farmers ay um, tinatali nila sa taas yung um, mga grasses, yung mga kinuha nilang grasses for ridges. So, tinatali nila para hindi maapakan, para hindi madumihan ng tae, ng kambing or anuman yung animal na nandun. So, ganun. So, this unique feeding behavior na ito, yung... Uh, maarte sila sa pag nadumihan yung kakainin nila uh, dapat itong karakteristik na ito uh, dapat i-consider take into consideration ng farmer dun sa pagplaplano ng mga feeding program for goat, lalong lalo na if you're aiming for high productivity kasi uh, Medyo maarte yung goat when it comes to feeding. Lalong-lalo na yung cut and carry system tapos i ilalagay mo na lang sa flooring. Most of the time, yung kakainin lang nung goat is yung grasses na 
it is not in contact with the floor. So, yun. Kailangan i-consider mo yung mga yung itong mga characteristic ng goats when planning for a feeding program. Yung mga nutrients naman that are required by goats, uh, when we say nutrients, these are chemical feed constituents that nourish and support the animal life. So, um, I will not go uh, further uh, on the ex on explaining kung ano yung nutrients basta kasi alam ko naman na you've covered it on your ANSI 102. Basta yung nutrients na yun, kailangan nung um, goat natin to sustain the life kasi yung nutrients, kailangan ito for uh, the metabolic processes that the animal uh, that the animal performs to uh, maintain life to become productive. So, mga ganun. So, kailangan talaga itong nutrients na to. So, the nutrient, nutrients that are important to goats are yun, water, carbohydrates, protein, fats, minerals, and vitamins. So, lahat ng ito, uh, importante. So, wala yung uh, parang tier list na top 1 itong water, top 2 itong carbohydrate, walang ganun. Kasi all of this, itong water, car carbohydrate, protein, fats, minerals, and vitamins, these uh, nutrients na ito, they all perform a specific task or they all, uh, uh, they all need uh, by the um, goat in order to perform yung mga um, task ng goat like eating um, mga productive, uh, reproductive task niya, mga ganun. So, kailangan itong mga nutrients na to. So, um, the natural and economical way of raising goat is allowing them to graze and browse para makuha uh, itong mga nutrients na kailangan nila. Uh, when you are raising yung goats in confinement as a means of controlling internal parasitism, uh, it deprives the animal of its intrinsic feeding behavior to nourish itself properly. So, meaning, uh, since yung parang instinct or natural way ng goat is to graze or, or is to browse yung mga grasses, yung mga shrubs natin, mga trees natin, Yun yung parang uh, gusto nila para ma-provide nila, uh, para makuha nila yung uh, nutrients nila. Now, if you're, uh, if you're parang um, race, uh, yung pag-aalaga uh, mo ng kambing is more on a confinement system, um, maybe because of, uh, of reasons such as uh, masyadong prevalent yung mga parasites, mga internal and external parasites doon sa uh, pasture mo, then uh, wala ka talagang choice kundi um, ikulong yung mga kambing mo. You practice confinement system. Pero, because of this, uh, pre-prevent mo yung animal uh, on the proper nutrients, proper nutrition niya. So, goats in confinement must be fed not only uh, to provide them with the necessary nutrients, but also to prevent the occurrence of nutritional disorder, which may occur when they are deprived of the ability to select the plants and plant parts of for a balanced nutrients intake. So, meaning, hindi lang yung nag-provide ka uh, Let's just say, nagpro-provide ka naman talaga kahit naka-confine yung mga goats mo. Nagpro-provide ka rin naman ng mga grasses, mga forages, mga ganon. Pero, uh, you make sure that yung pinapakain mo uh, of different varieties of uh, dapat diverse yung pinapakain mo. Para ma-select naman nila para yung behavior nila, yung natural behavior nila in browsing, in selecting feed, nandoon pa rin kahit naka-confine sila. And then, uh, because of uh, more variety, more diversity on the 
grasses and forages that the goat is eating, then uh, it can sufficiently um, sufficiently get or um, ingest yung mga kailangan niya na nutrients. So, here we have yung um, what we call as the or ito yung ma, y nutrient requirement ng mga kambing natin. So, I will not go over all of it pero uh, yung mga parang ito kasi kailangan ito sa mga feed formulation. Mostly ito yung uh, kailangan. So, yung for example, itong energy, yung meta, uh, metalizable energy, yung total digestible nutrients, and then you have yung protein, yung crude protein, yung total protein, and then you have mineral, uh, the most important of it is yung calcium and phosphorus, and then yung vitamin, na fat vitamin, you have yung vitamin A and vitamin, vitamin D, so ganito. So, uh, yung mapapansin nyo lang, as the animal, yung, um, as the animal uh, grow bigger, uh, become severe, yung, um, itong mga dry matter, uh, itong mga energy intake niya, itong mga protein na kailangan niya, uh, lumalaki. Kasi, mas, kasi nga, mas malaki na yung um, kambing, if mas malaki na yung kambing, then mas maraming nutrients yung kailangan niya, um, mas maraming yung nutrients sa kailangan na for uh, its maintenance, for for its productivity. So, yun lang. So, ito, you could uh, save it para if ever man na uh, you are going to uh, formulate a ration for goats, then pwede kang kumuha dito. Pwede kang mag-base dito. So, yun. Dito naman, you have yung lactation. First 10 weeks of lactation. Uh, you can see here na yung protein niya, mataas yung nutrient requirement ng lactation. This is because um, sa lactation, they are producing milk. Eh, yung kailangan to produce yung milk is protein. Same with dito sa calcium and phosphorus, kailangan rin to for milk production. So, mataas rin yung uh, amount niya. So, yun. Then, uh, let's go naman doon sa guidelines in feeding goats. So, itong guideline on feeding goats, this is uh, recommended to us by um, this is recommended to us by the um, Department of Science and Technology Picard. So, kinuha ko to doon sa, uh, sa libro nila, doon sa Philippine Recommends for Goat Production. So, um, goats require all the nutrients necessary for the maintenance of body functions, milk and milk production, growth and pregnancy. A deficiency in any of these nutrients can limit production. So, yun. Um, in all of the stages, in all of the things that the goat is doing, kailangan niya ng nutrients. So, kailangan pa rin niya ng nutrients kahit for maintenance lang. Kahit wala siyang ginagawa, kahit hindi siya nag, uh, nag-produce ng milk, hindi siya for meat production, hindi rin siya uh, gestating, hindi rin siya lactating, kahit maintenance lang, para lang mabuhay yung kambing, kailangan pa rin ng um, nutrients. Uh, kailangan pa, li, pa rin na uh, magbigay tayo ng nutrients. So, mas marami yung kailangan ni, ni, nilang nutrients if they are producing milk, they are for meat production. Kasi, yung kailangan nila for maintenance plus yung kailangan nila yung, ng meat at saka milk production, yun yung dapat mong ibigay. Kaya, mas marami. Same with sa pregnancy. Kasi nga, uh, considered na dalawa na yung uh, dalawa yung pinapakain mo, yung nanay at saka yung anak niya. So, ka kailangan mas maraming nutrient yung ibibigay mo. Kasi if there is a deficiency doon sa nutrient, kung baka 
may kulang dun sa binigay mong nutrient, it can limit production. Kasi nga kulang. Yung nutrient sana, if kulang, yung nutrient sana na uh, gagamitin nung kambing para makapag-produce ng let's just say 5 kg ng milk per day. Hindi na niya magagawa kasi kulang yung nutrients niya. So, meaning, uh, kunti lang, mas kunti yung na-produce na niya na milk. Mga nasa 3 kg, mga ganun lang kasi deficient siya sa nutrients. Um, another one is yung if yung dapat na average daily gain nung isang kambing is nasa point, um, point 0.1 gram, mga ganun, 0.5 grams or mga 2 to 3 grams per day. Yun dapat yung ADG niya. Eh, kulang uh, yung binibigay mong nutrients, then yung kalalabasan is hindi maaabot ngayon nung goat yung average daily gain na dapat sana yun yung um, uh, yun yung ADG niya. So, yun. It can limit talaga yung productivity. Kaya, kaya importante na you provide uh, the good nutrients and then you employ yung proper feeding management. So, the energy needs of grazing goats is basically similar to that of animals raised in confinement with the exception of that grazing goats have to expend more energy in searching and harvesting their diet and have to endure environmental stresses. So, yung sinasabi lang dito na yung grazing, yung free, yung hindi nakakulong na goat, no, yung nag-free range lang, nag-graze lang siya dun sa pasture, uh, yung nutrient requirement niya, it is the same with the goat that is in confinement. Magpa magkapareho lang sila ng uh, nutrient requirement. Yung pagkakaibahan lang is... Uh, sa energy. Kasi yung um, goat na nasa free range, syempre maglalakad yan. Mag-explore explore yan para may makain siya. Maglalakad siya, then kakain, then maglalakad ulit. So meaning, mas maraming energy yung na-expend niya, yung nagagamit niya when compared dun sa goat na uh, nasa uh, confinement. So, yung sa nasa, nasa confinement, hindi siya masyadong gumagalaw. Tatayo lang siya kung kakain, ganun. So, yun yung uh, pagkaibahan lang nila. So, always take into consideration yun. Then, next to energy, uh, protein is likely to be the next limiting nutrient. So, yun. Since free range, it expend more energy. Yun yung parang uh, isa sa mga uh, unang limiting nutrient niya ng goat. Then, next to energy is yung protein. So, growing goat requires 12% crude protein but good quality grasses contain on the average only 8 to 9% crude protein and only 4% in mature grass. So, uh, yun. Yung mga growing goats daw kailangan ng 12% crude protein. Now, yung problema kung bakit ito ang second limiting nutrient for goats is that yung mga good quality na grasses natin, hindi yun yung mga high quality. Yung mga high quality can provide yung 12%. Pero hindi yun yung parang ideal or hindi yun yung palaging senaryo. So, itong good quality grasses, ito yung parang common na binibigay. So, or better yet, mga... Um, Lesser than good quality grasses yung binibigay eh for uh, ma sa mga kambing natin. Eh itong mga good quality grasses na ito, it only contain 8 to 9% crude protein. So, basic math, 12 is 12% 12 crude protein na kailangan ng goat. Uh, it is more than yung uh, na, kin na kukuha nila na crude protein dun sa mga kinakain nilang mga grasses na nasa 8 to 9% lang. So, meaning, um, dito ka na uh, magpro-provide ng mga concentrate supplement para um, ma-satisfy yung kulang na, na crude protein ng kambing. So, dito ka magbibigay ng mga rice bran, mga ganun. 
Basta yung mga concentrate that are have a good amount of crude protein. So, para masatisfy yung ano niya, yung crude protein niya. Then, sa minerals naman, yung phosphorus deficiency is yun yung primary concern. Kasi, yung mga grasses natin, they are naturally low in um, phosphorus content. So, uh, concern natin, kaya yung dalawang pinaka-importanteng uh, mineral uh, sa goat, ang isa doon is yung phosphorus. Kasi nga, uh, hindi, ka, hindi talaga makakakuha ng large amount of phosphorus yung mga goats natin doon sa mga grasses. So, dito ka ulit magsusupply, dito ka ulit magsusupplement ng mga minerals mo. Yung mga maraming mabibili naman doon sa mga farms, uh, farm supply na mga mineral supplement na pwede mong ibigay doon sa feed ng goat or pwede mong ihalo doon sa uh, iniinom nila. Then, goat require a, large, a larger amount of calcium as this composed of larger proportion of the bone and teeth. Aside from phosphorus, kailangan rin ng calcium. Ito rin yung isa sa mga pinakaimportanteng um, mineral for goats. So, yung pag-deficient sila sa calcium, um, may mga diseases that could happen, especially dun sa bone mo. Kasi yung calcium, as we all know, um, it is uh, parang... Kailangan ito for bone development, mga ganun. So, calcium deficiency will not be a problem if uh, goats are given access to legumes. So, yun. Um, dito ka rin magsusupply. Dito ka rin magbibigay ng ano. Kasi most uh, probably, grasses lang yung kinakain nila. So, kailangan pa rin nila ng uh, legumes na mga ano na mga forages para uh, masatisfy yung nutrient requirement nila for calcium. Kasi under ordinary grazing conditions, yung calcium may or may not be deficient. Uh, pwedeng nakukuha nila or pwedeng um, hindi nila nakukuha yung calcium na kailangan nila if it if it is a natural grazing condition, yung wala kang binibigay ng mga legumes. So dito, dito ka rin magbibigay ng ano, ng dito ka magbibigay ngayon ng uh, mga calcium and phosphorus supplement, yung mineral supplement mo. Then pastures are also normally low in sodium and uh, chlorine, hence it is in, in standard practice to provide yung ordinary salt. So, aside from yung phosphorus, uh, yung mga pastures natin, um, low in sodium and chlorine rin ang mga ito. So, mababa rin yung um, sodium and chlorine content nila. So, kailangan natin mag-provide ng salt. So, dito papasok ngayon yung um, mga mineral block natin which contains yung salt. Dun, dun, dun ka magsusupplement. So, the requirement for other essential minerals such as potassium, mga sulfur, cobalt, copper, iron, zinc, and manganese varies from one area to another depending upon the contents of these minerals on the soil. So, yun. Um, kaya itong mineral talaga, ma mahirap na i-determine talaga yung uh, if the animal is deficient on a specific, a specific mineral. Kasi, um, it varies from one land, it varies from one area to another. So, yung uh, para malaman mo itong uh, mineral content ng soil mo, uh, mineral content ng kinakain nila, eh magpapatest ka pa. Which is, kung hindi ka naman, uh, which is, meron rin naman service na provide yung Department of Agriculture, on mga soil analysis at mga yung sa crop ano sa proximate analysis pero uh, hindi naman ito ginagawa ng mga ordinary farmers so yun
mahirap talaga na i-provide yung um, nutrient, uh, yung mineral na kailangan nila. Hey, uh, eh, mahirap i-determine yung mineral na kailangan nila. Then, the goats that are fed with a balanced diet are also fed with small amounts over a period of time instead of only one feeding. Likewise, goats needs to be gradually shifted from one diet to another. So, yun. Um, yung recommended kasi hindi biglaan yung pagpapakain mo ng, ng mga concentrates and mga forages mo. Hindi biglaan. So, kailangan uh, in small amounts over a period of time. So, meaning, magpapakain ka ngayon, magpapakain ka ng umaga, then magpapakain ka ng sa tanghali, then sa hapon, mga ganun. Likewise, um, dapat rin na hindi iisa yung diet nung, uh, nung goat. So, there are large varieties, large selection of forages and grasses that are all have different nutrient content. So, kailangan na paiba-iba rin yung, ano niya, yung kinakain niya para masatisfy yung mga nutrient content. Uh, nutrient requirement niya. Kasi, like for example, um, like for example, yung pinapakain mo lang all throughout the life of the animal na grass is nung napier. Now, yung napier, uh, medyo mababa yung protein content niya. Then, uh, with that, dapat na magpakain ka ng mga legi legiuminous crop na mataas yung uh, protein content niya para masatisfy yung uh, yung protein requirement ng kambing. So ganun. Kailangan na shift yung diet from one to another. Dapat may variety ka dun sa pinapakain mo. Uh, and at the same time, uh, it is also applicable dun sa uh, concentrate yung supplement mo ng concentrate kasi like for example, nagpakain ka ngayon ng starter. Then, all throughout yung life, hindi pwede na starter lang yung pinapakain mo. Dapat, meron rin, uh, mag-shift rin yung, um, ano mo, yung pinapakain mo na uh, concentrate. So, ganun. Then, uh, never allow goats, especially the kids, uh, to immediately graze fresh and highly succulent pastures after the first, ram, uh, first rams. Uh, nutritional disorders such as enterotoxemia and bloat are likely to occur if the above precautionary measures are ignored. Ignored. So, um, wag ka daw mo nang kuma, wag wag mo daw mo nang pakainin or never allow yung goat, lalong lalo na yung mga batang kambing na kakain kaagad don sa fresh and highly succulent pastures. Don sa mga mataas yung moisture content kasi uh, this will lead to enterotoxemia and bloat kasi nga mataas yung nutrient content ay yung water content now if mataas yung water content it will lead to these diseases so um, this may lead to them uh, baka mamatay pa yung mga kambing mo The, uh, another one is green and f fresh feeds should either be tied in bundles and hung or offered in feeders above ground. So, uh, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina na medyo when it comes to feeding behavior, medyo maarte yung mga kambing natin kasi ayaw nila na nadudumihan yung kinakain nila. So, yung uh, gagawin natin is yung mga um, na harvest natin na like for example yung mga grasses such as napier itatali natin into bundles and then i uh, ihahang natin or ibitin tayo above ground para hindi madumihan so yun so kung may mga alaga kayong kambing alam nyo na, na ma-observe ninyo na pag uh, nilagay mo lang sa floor yung um, mga grasses natin yung mga ipapakain natin most of the time kasi hindi nila ka gusto yung nasa baba yung mga grasses that came in contact with the flooring so yung kakainin lang nila is yung hindi uh, uh, hindi 
uh, na direct contact in the flooring. Yun lang yung kakainin nila. So, para ma-maximize natin or para kainin lahat nila yung na-harvest natin na mga forages, mga grasses, yung gagawin mo is itatali mo, then ibibitin mo above ground. So, yun. Then, regularly feed goats with forage in small quantities 3 to 4 times a day. So, yun. Um, yung mga ginagawa most of the time is pinapakain lang nila uh, sa umaga. Pero yung recommended is 3 to 4 times a day. I-divide mo yung na-harvest mo. Uh, sa umaga, i-divide mo. Then, pakainin mo 3 to 4 times a day. Then, uh, goats must consume the feed in about half an hour. Then, avoid feeding wet feeds kasi this may lead to uh, uh, kasi wet feeds this may uh, have higher moisture content that may lead to bloating, mga ganun. Then, all leftover feeds must be removed from the feeder as they may become a hiding place for rodents and mediums for fungus. So, uh, if for example, nagpakain ka ng mga concentrate, then, doon sa feeder nilagay mo sa feeder, then, hindi lahat ng mga binigay mo ay kinain ng um, goat. So, yung mangyayari ngayon, yung mga leftover feeds, this may become wet. Uh, and then, uh, dito, pamamahayan ng mga fungus, pwede mag-grow yung mga fungus, or pwede rin na um, pamahayan or pwedeng pumunta yung mga rodents, rodents, yung mga rats natin. Pwede silang tumae doon, then this may lead to ano, this may lead to um, some diseases. And then yung wet feed, this may be a good medium for bacterial uh, sa pagmumultiply ng bacteria. Kaya, um, dapat linisin natin yung mga feeders natin. Kailangan i itapon yung mga leftover feeds. So, yun yung mga guidelines for ano natin. For some guidelines for feeding yung goats natin. Then, uh, we will go naman dun sa mga feeds for goats. So, there are two major classes of feeds for goat. Uh, which is uh, same rin naman dun sa mga other ruminants, namely roughages and concentrates. So, uh, yung mga roughages natin, these are the cheapest source of nutrients of goats. So, bakit cheapest? Kasi they are naturally grown. Uh, they, they could be, uh, uh, they can grow naturally. Then, if ever man na nag... nag if ever man na nagtatanim ka ng mga ng mga grasses, yung mga roughages, um, it is of low maintenance lang. So, hindi masyadong magastos. So, they are the cheapest source of nutrients for goat. Um, roughages are fibrous. Kung, uh, itong mga roughages, kung hindi nyo pa alam, are yung mga fibrous herbage plants or byproducts of agro-industrial enterprises which have high fiber content and therefore low in energy value. So, yun yung mga roughages mo. So, uh, yung mga roughages, pwede yung mga plants natin or pwede yung mga agro-byproducts, yung mga... Um, when we say byproducts, pwede yung waste itong mga to eh. Um, like, for example... Yung mga rice straw, mga ganun. Yung mga cassava tops, uh, potato tops, yung mga um, sugar cane tops, mga ganun. Yung mga agro-industrial byproducts that could be uh, given to the goats. Then, the roughages includes yung mga grasses, legumes, crop byproducts, or yung mga tree or shrub leaves natin. So, uh, yung quality of uh, itong mga feeds na to, itong mga roughages, depends on the uh, maturity, yung uh, palatability and the absence of toxic factors. Doon mo masasabi kung mataas ba, yung, uh, maganda ba yung quality or mababa. Kasi, for example, yung maturity, yung mga forages that are mature, yung mga matatanda ng... Um, 
uh, mga forages, they tend to have lower nutrient content. Yung mga mature na grasses, they tend to have lower crude protein compared dun sa mga younger um, grasses. And then, palatability. Tignan mo rin kung gusto nung animal, nung goat. Although yung goat hindi masyadong maarte when it comes to kung ano yung kakainin. Uh, kasi, uh, they could, uh, pwede, pa, pwede silang kumain kahit na bitter yung um, grasses. Pero, baka merong mga um, grasses, forages, trees, or shrubs that are unpalatable or hindi um, makain ng goat. So, yun. And then, another one is the absence of toxic factors. Yung mga ano natin, yung mga ipil-ipil natin, it contains a substance called mimosin that when ingested in high amount can be toxic to the um, goats natin. So, um, kaya hindi recommended na pakainin mo ng marami, maraming ipil-ipil leaves yung goat mo. Kasi nga, eh, it contains uh, toxic substances. So, ito yung mga um, list ng mga cultivated na and indigenous father species natin. So, you have yung Yusaena lusocopala, lusocopala, na yun yung ipil-ipil. Then, you have yung kakawate, Pwede rin ipakain yung Kalyandra desmantos rensoni. So, maganda itong rensoni na shrubs. Shrub ito eh. So, maganda ito for para ipakain sa goat talaga. Pero hindi ito common. Uh, mostly hindi. Uh, ilan pa lang yung nakikita ko na may tanim na rensoni doon sa mga farms nila. And then, flamingia pwede rin Katuray, and then Amarillo, then Stylo. So, these are some of the common na mga father species natin. Father, uh, ito yung mga trees and shrubs natin. Na, at saka yung mga grasses natin. Then, yung mga indigenous naman. You have yung binu, Binunga, Kalyus, Anabyong, Anunang, As Ismaya, Baleteng, Papay, payapa, Hanli, Balete, Tilos, itong mga to. So, you could search it on the web, itong mga scientific name nila, and then makikita mo doon yung itsura. So, yun. Then, um, yung namang mga concentrates, so, hindi na ako ma masyadong mag-elaborate dito sa raffages and concentrates because Uh, these are tackled uh, extensively doon sa 102. I hope this is tackled extensively sa 102 ninyo. And then, paulit-ulit rin lang naman yung sinasabi ko. Kasi I'm handling you uh, sa ANSAI, ANSAI 161, which is sa ruminance pa rin na daily and then dito. So, when we say concentrates, these are feed in low in fiber and high in energy content. So, ito yung mga greens natin mga oil meal natin. So, yun yung mga concentrate natin. Yung mga grains uh, and oil meals, oil meals are excellent source of energy and protein for ruminants respectively. Um, they are best used or they are best utilized in swine and poultry ration. So, hindi masyadong common na yun yung pinapakain mo dun sa uh, goat mo. Itong mga concentrate. So, itong concentrate na to, these are mostly fed as supplement. So, yun. Sa ruminants natin, sa mga goats natin. Pero, doon sa mga swine and poultry natin, which are monogastric, ito yung pinapakain nila. Kasi, yung forages natin, yung mga grasses natin, they are not uh, utilized well sa ng mga monogastric natin. So, the following byproducts of agroindustrial processing are more suitable for goat feeding. So, yung mga soy meal natin, mga ganun, they are best utilized for um, for monogastric animal. Pero, itong mga rice bran natin, ah, pwede. So, uh, rice bran feeding value is related to the amount of finely ground rice hull mixed with the 
bran. So, good quality rice bran cannot be stored for a long period of time without an antioxidant or as it turns rancid. So, yun. Kailangan lagyan mo ng antioxidant yung rice bran na ipapakain, ipapakain mo doon sa mga goat mo para hindi mapanis. Then, another one, similar to the, corn, uh, to the rice bran is yung corn bran natin. So, um, yung lang pagkaiba is it is lower in fat content. And then, uh, another one that you can use or that you can give to the goat is yung copra meal. So, itong copra meal, it is a good source of both energy and protein for goats and then availability and price are the limiting factors in its use as goat feed. So, medyo um, scarce and then medyo uh, malaki or mataas yung presyo. Then, yung cane molasses naman, it is a good energy source but low in protein content. Also, use in concentrate mixture to reduce dustiness. So, yun. Yun yung cane molasses. Pwedeng uh, for energy source pero ma mababa yung protein content niya. And itong molasses, this is used for yung urea molasses mineral black na tinatawag which I will discuss uh, later on. Kung ano yun. And then this will become your lab exercise na rin. So with that, uh, that ends muna on the feeds and feeding of goats natin. So with that, uh, thank you for listening.